be at Lafarge Cement Works at Aberthaw, uh, down in the Kiln Inlet area, uh, where we've come up with the idea to use a precast block as opposed to using a traditional method of cast. With your method of casting, we'd have to have a team of scaffolders who will scaffold in from the top of the tower down to the uh, inlet arch, where we'd also have to have a team of guys with jackhammers to break all the build-up so we could make it a safe area to work before we start the casting. Then we'd have to shut her up and then we'd have to mix the cast up here on the job to the right consistency and pour the cast into the shutters using a team of people passing the buckets into the kiln area. Myself and Ricky Erlison from Hogan Street Factories came up with the idea to make an arch out of precast blocks. The blocks would be made off-site in a controlled manner before arriving on site. Then we would transport these blocks up into the kiln using a telehandler, so there was no manual handling with it. Put onto a platform, then we would use uh, lift equipment to lift these blocks into place, and then you'd build the arch a bit like a bridge, and you would bolt them into place, taking away all the anchoring system we've done in the past, and it just bolt in and slot in on the bridge. The benefits in using the precast blocks is that it only take about two to three shifts to install these precast blocks into the arch, whereas before with the casting work, we'd use a, a lot of men putting in buckets of cast in through the door and into the shutters, and that would normally take about six to seven shifts to, to put into the shutters. We're finding that the precast blocks are lasting easily two years, whereas the old method of casting, it would last maybe a year to 18 months. It's a safer method to install these blocks than it is the old traditional method of casting.